Alright, we're good. And you were reserving it. It's on the 21st, and <clears throat> the 5th had moved out and got around Sarawachi. So you're just doing circles in the ocean? That's right. And the waves were running uh, 10 to 15 feet. Wow. Why did they. I mean, why did they. Why did they put you back on ship? Well, I kept thinking that those guys sure would get enough room, room to let us in, you know. Yeah. Oh, so they were just, they were doing it as a feint to complete. They thought, hey, by the time you get to the shore, <laughs> there'll, there'll be, be room. room. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, too, it wasn't just a, a little jaunt off the boat back onto the ship. We lost a lot of guys. Down those rope ladders, right? Yeah, and they, yeah. and they lost a lot of them. Oh, really? Did a lot of guys fall in the water? Oh, yeah. It's in the book. It's in Spross's book. Uh, yeah. Well, when they, they got when they got it. to the shore, if I remember, and I may have missed this, uh, and it, it says when they got to shore, a lot of times they were jumping, especially when the ramps didn't work, and they lost a lot of guys that way, and they'd fallen off to the side. But uh, actually, uh, getting off of the, the ships uh, into the Higgins boats, there wasn't that much of a problem. I don't know, but was there? Yeah. You, uh, <coughs> before daylight, you can't see a thing. And it was total blackout. You could not strike a match, you couldn't flick a bick <laughs> or a zippo, nothing. No lights anywhere. So you heard some guys going to drink or saw them? Well, we lost two gunnery sergeants. I mean, we, we rescued them, but they, oh. went, they went in the drink. But you got them back out? Yeah. Didn't okay. you almost? I almost went. That would have not been fun. Uh, some some swabby grabbed me and pulled me in or I would have Gone over to? I would have been just because of the rough bait. seas. Just because huh? of the rough, rough seas. Rough seas, yeah. Because the boat was one time it was away down there, and the next time it was away up here. Um, and the they... navy, the navy guys were supposed to keep the rope ladders in the boat. That's what they were supposed to do. And they were doing a good job. Well, when your when your boat goes out from under you. <laughs> You're not going to hang on to the rope because then you're going to get slammed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you can't beat self-preservation, you know. Um, I have a question. Did they nickname the Sherman tanks Hellcats? Like, did you call them that at all? Or? We didn't. I, I've never heard that before. I heard it for airplanes, but never for tanks. Yeah, because my friend who went to this fiction documentary on Netflix and was wondering if, oh, well, he thinks it is, but I'm pretty sure they don't call them Hellcats. There is I a, don't think so. There is a uh, British tank that's called Hellcat. Was there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That maybe what? That's where he picked it up. Maybe. So getting back to convincing the people because of your height, how did you finagle that one? Well... They took the height requirement off in 1943. And then they would take anybody over the 5'2". Wow. But then it wasn't an issue. Huh? So did you have to go back home and wait for it? Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to go. I'd have been drafted eventually. Mm -hmm. But if, if I could go in the Marine Corps, I wasn't going to go. Voluntarily, anyway. Mm -hmm. so. so how was that How was that conversation with Mom when you said, Mom, oh. I'm going? <laughs> She was not a happy camper. <laughs> no. What did she say? One brother was fortunate. <clears throat> when he got to England, mm -hmm. they put him in a supply depot. And his job, of course, was to send supplies to the front. So he never got into combat. The other one was part of Patton's outfit. Third Army at the bulge, and he got <coughs> he got beat up real bad at the bulge. He didn't live long after he came home. Mm. Did you see him? Mm -hmm. So you haven't been you haven't been sent off the boot yet. No, this was after the war. Yeah. Oh, it was after the war. After the war. Right, so it wasn't in... when the war ended. He that was, was Gerald. Yeah, when the war ended, he was still in a psych hospital in England. Hmm. What did he eventually die from? <laughs> Didn't do an autopsy, but we think hard. Oh, okay. He just gave up. 
So he, he wasn't recovering. Yeah, he was in his tw mid twenties. No, late twenties, maybe early thirties. Gerald would have been. Uh, Yeah, yeah, 26, 27, yeah. Wow, he definitely didn't make it very long. Hmm. Hmm. Now, did your brothers think you were crazy when you go in the Marine Corps? No, we didn't know anything about military. Mm -hmm. Had no military experience. And they were already gone, right, when you went they, in? They were already, they never, yeah, they were yeah. already overseas when I went in. Plus, Mom rode them. Hmm. So mom didn't go to the train station to send you off? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Hardly. No letters from home? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've got letters from home. So how she, she went to Washington with me when I received the medal. Hmm. Did the president present it to you? <laughs> you got to meet the president. Guess which one? Yeah. Oh. No, I know... Um, What's his name? Di died of Parkinson's, right? No. <clears throat> I know he died of a disability. Or well, he had, he had polio. Polio, so that's it. He died of that. Yeah. Um, his name was Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Who came next? The um, buck stops here. What? He, he's famous for saying the buck stops here. Truman. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I'm he had really, a sign on his desk. I'm not. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So how? So your mom was proud then, huh? Oh yeah, very much. Did she admit she was wrong? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so when you uh, arrived in San Diego, is that where you did your boot? Yeah. Or did you do Paris Island? Dago. I shouldn't have. I should have gone to Pi. Mm -hmm. Because 